So, just another quick video about Virtual GTA 2024 based on a question I got uh, in the Virtual GTA Facebook group. And that was if you could put your stems on an external drive if you were running out of space. And the answer is yes, you can, but you need to put all of them there because if you're not going to have your stems right next to your tracks, then you're going to have to place them in the same place, basically, because there's only one uh, one path you can put in for alternative stems path. So let me explain this to you a little bit better. So uh, I have a D drive here. That's an external driver that I've connected. And I've uh, created a folder here called stems. I just built that one. So it's right there. It's called stems. Okay, and that's where I want to put my stems. So now I go into Virtual DJ. And you can see I have some tracks here. Uh, and some of them already have stems. That's based on the right next to them because I haven't made the settings yet. And some of them don't. So we'll pick one of the one that doesn't have that in just a second. But let's go into the settings first. So we'll go into settings and we we'll just type in stems. And I can see uh, when you look at stems folder, it's empty. That means it places the stems files when you prepare stems. So when you want to store them, right? So uh, it, it uh, saves those right next to the tracks. But now we don't want to do that anymore. We want to put them uh, uh, in a, another place, a, 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 a another path, and the same path for all of them because we want to put them to the external drive. So I open this and I go into my external drives and I tell it to save it in the stems folder like this. And that is now stored. So now when I, uh, I try to look into a new track, like maybe this ant fire track, and I tell it, to, well, I want you to prepare stems here. So I simply go in here and I say, save prepared stems. And it'll start calculating stems. Now, this is a pretty slow laptop, so it'll take a little while. Uh, but you sh should be able to see it uh, going into this folder when you look in here uh, on the D drive. So now this is busy and you're getting weird names and stuff in here. But uh, this is where... Uh, the stems file goes into now on this drive. So let's just see how far it's gotten. Well, it's about halfway finished. We'll just wait for a little while. And then once it's done, we should get the icon that it has a, a prepared stems. That's a little uh, lightning here, the blue one. So, so that will tell us that we now have prepared stems for the file. And uh, when the prepared stems are done, uh, uh, right here in, in the recent version of Virtual DJ, it'll always be uh, 2.0. So it'll be the good version of stems. If it isn't the good version of stems, it won't have the this icon if it's if I somehow survived from the Enola version of Virtual DJ. So now it's done. So it should now, when I load this, instead of calculating it, it should be uh, uh, right away ready, right? So I play it. And just to make sure, I just jump a little bit. And it's still okay. And I can remove the drums. So it does indeed have prepared stems and they're just triggering and they're ready. And let me just uh, try to close Virtual DJ just to make sure that it's actually stored. So I'll put in uh, uh, the same track again and fire and it's instantly ready and I play and it still works just like expected. So it knows that these prepared stems are on this external uh, drive now. So that works great. Of course, here comes all the tricky points, because what happens if you haven't brought this particular external drive for some reason? Maybe you've got. So let me just close down Virtual DJ again. Now I'll disconnect the drive. So now it's disconnected, and I'll open Virtual DJ again. And now, and it thinks it has it because that's just something it stores in the database. So now we have stems for this. Oh, great. It hasn't checked that it doesn't have it. So now when, when I load it, it'll start preparing it right away because it can't find the stems file because it can't find the stems folder that's been set up. So right now, I'm gonna jump around and I remove the drums. It won't work instantly because it's trying to calculate it. I pause for a second, play again. Then the drums are gone. But that's because it's been prepared right now on the fly, right? And this is a slow laptop. Another thing that has happened is that the icon is now missing. 
it has figured out that there are no prepared stems anymore. Uh, it had the icon when we loaded the track, but now it's gone because it's figured out there are no prepared stems anymore because this external drive is gone. Let us close the virtual DDA and give it the drive back. So now virtual DDA is closed. I'm going to reconnect the drive. Let's reconnect it. Go into virtual DDA again. And now when we look at end file, there's no icon because now Virtual DJ has stored that it doesn't have any prepared stems because it couldn't find them the last time we tried to play this track. So let's try loading it again. And it actually instantly figured out, yes, I do have them. And it put back the icon. And now when we play the track, no matter how much we jump, the stems work because it figured out, yeah, I do have these. This path came back to me. I now have access to this, so I can use these prepared stems again. So that was just a, bit, a little bit about having prepared stems on an external drive, even though your track is probably on a local drive, like this one. Let's just test it by going into the tag editor. So you can see this is actually on my local C drive. So the track is on the local drive, the stems on an external drive, and then we showed what happened if that external drive is certainly gone and if it comes back. So it's just a little bit about having a collection of stems in one folder and putting it on an external drive, maybe because you're running out of, out of space on your internal drive.